All right, guys, we are back with another great episode of Bass Cast Radio. I am Brian, your host, and Hank, the Bass Geek. What's up, brother? My co-host, guys. What's up, all you girthy geeks out there? <laughs> How is everybody doing out there in bass fishing world and land or whatever you guys call it? Hope you guys are all doing well. We are back with another great episode, and uh, we've got two gentlemen on with us tonight we got uh dylan coates and steven vaughn with uh hobie eyewear uh me and danielle met them at the bass master classic and uh they've been on the schedule for quite a while and we just finally were able to nail this one down <clears throat> and i'll be honest with you guys this is going to be one that me and geek pretty much listen to because it's going to you know they're going to tell us all about it why they created them there's a pair right there I got in my hands. Nice. There's a lot of nifty things that they did with these that, you know, a lot of other eyeglass companies have never done. I've never seen done. So <clears throat> they're going to come on and tell us all about it. But uh, first, man, what's been going on in your world, brother? You know, man, just trying to stay on top of it, you know, working the double job. You know, the geeks got a two geek life, you know, got the computer geek world. Yeah. And then we got the Bass Geek World. So uh, just trying to hold them both up on, on these shoulders. There you go. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, it's been, um, like I said, you know, it's been a great year so far for the BassCast.com. <clears throat> we just wrapped up stop number one of our tournament series. Um, <clears throat> and that was interesting. And um, we, um, we got a new kayak tournament director. Uh, Danielle is doing our kayak tournament series right now. Yay, Danielle! I, I think we read something. We we're she asked a question. It's pretty crazy about tournament directors and all this stuff. And I think the average is like two or three years. And I hope she don't get burnt out by then. But I have a feeling we'll. She might. Never know. Hopefully she won't. But yeah, our kayak series is growing, guys. We got a monthly online tournament going on right now by the way that you guys can still sign up for um just go to basscast.com click the dots kerning kayak news <clears throat> and then look for the schedule and you guys can sign up or you can go to tourney x and type in bass cast kayak i think it's what it is don't quote me but i think it's what it is and you can sign up right there through tourney x <clears throat> so we got the world of kayaks going on. Uh, it's May, and brother, the schedule is full. I am. I'm gonna stay home this weekend, just because gas went up to 409. Here. Well, I, I'm not staying home. I'll be at work. So. <laughs> yeah. So I'm staying home this weekend, but the next three weekends, the Bass Cast will be on the road covering the Cat Championship. Uh, we got another kayak series event down Phil Pot Lake. And there's one other thing on my schedule. So, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm fishing, guys. That's what it is. There's an Angler's Choice tournament coming up, and I'm going to fish Bannister with a buddy of mine. And nice. Alicia is going to cover Angler's Choice on Smith Mountain Lake. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's May for the BassCast.com. Yeah, man, for me, it's just... Uh... Well, as a matter of fact, the video that we just dropped is about the top five baits for May. That's what I was getting ready to ask you about, brother. I so, saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. So that that covers, you know, May is another month of movement. You know, they're they're coming in April. They're leaving in May. So get, they lead to what I like to do best, and that is some ledge fishing by the end of May, 1st of June. I can't wait. So head on over, guys. Make sure you follow Bass Geeks channel. Um, and uh, make sure you also hit the bell so you get your notifications. So every time Geek drops a video, you will be able to watch it. It'll show up in your notifications. That way you'll be able to see it. On top of all the rest of the videos, you probably hit the bell for. But uh, also, don't forget to follow Geek on TikTok. That's right. TikTok. Uh... Facebook, uh, Instagram, and we've got the new Bass Geek podcast 
brought to you by Mr. Brian and Outdoors Obsession. There Radio. you guys go. So make sure you guys are following him. Uh, he's on all the podcasting networks. So just like we are as well. I'm not going to run through them all tonight because we got a guest <laughs> waiting. But I ran through them last week. So if there's a podcasting network out there, the BassCast.com and BassGeek is a part of it. So head on out there, hit the follow button, and make sure you guys tune in to listen to every episode of the BassCast.com and uh, BassGeek's podcast. So, all right, guys, we're going to dive right on into this tonight. Um, you guys, we want to thank Hobie Eyewear for being a part of this. So, like I said, I met these, uh, I met uh, Dylan at the Bassmaster Classic, and, you know, we talked about it. He asked about the pot. He asked, did I have a, you know, what do we have and what do we do? And I said, well, we got a great podcast. He's like, well, we like to be a part of it. So that's always really, really cool. And we like, you know, like I've always told you guys, and, you know, Geek knows this as well. We'll talk about anything fishing related. I mean, you know, you could be a big time YouTuber like Geek. Uh, you can be, you can, Whoa, let's rain back on that. You could be a podcaster. <laughs> uh you know you, you could be big a, time podcaster like brian no 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 like you uh you can no. be you know an angler i mean you know anything regarding the fishing world we love talking about it so i mean just hit us up dm us be a part of the show so That's i mean right. message us and we'll talk to you guys so but uh yeah dylan and steven from hobie eyewear will be with us and we'll be right back in one minute all right, guys, we're back with Dylan and Steven with Hobie Eyewear, man. Welcome to the show, man. Hey, guys. Thanks for having us. Man, appreciate you having us, being a part of us. And Dylan, man, oh, yeah. we got we got to meet you meet at the uh, 2022 Bassmaster Classic. Let's talk about that really quick, man. We talked a little bit before the show, this being you guys' first ever classic and, you know, introducing Hobie Eyewear. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like you said, it was our first time at the show. Um, it was really exciting just, just to be there, uh, see the spectacle that the Bassmaster Classic is, and just to get to spend some time with people who really love to fish and speak with the consumers and to see have see what they think better eyewear the first time they see it. Was it overwhelming? Because a lot of people come to the show the first time and be like, wow. Be like, we th there's no need to even go to the weigh-in. We can just spend four days right here. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That is that is true. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was overwhelming, but it was definitely very busy. I didn't even get a chance to make it to the way, and that's how busy we were. But it, it was just a really cool event to be a part of. Did you get to eat at least? <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say. Yeah. Did, I had yeah, to did, do it in rapid time. Did you did you get to see any of it because you were busy? Did you actually get to see anything other than the inside of your booth? Not, not really. I think I might have, I might have walked the show for for two minutes when I grabbed the bite to eat. That was about it. We were, we were slammed. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. All right. So Hobie Eyewear, man. What you know? There are a lot of sunglasses out there. You know, you got Costa. I mean, Costa. However, anybody wants to say it. I had. You know, there's a bunch of different brands. What made Hobie come out with a pair of sunglasses? Absolutely. So many people don't realize we've actually been making sunglasses since 1982. Oh, uh, wow. On the beaches of California, where uh, Hobie's sons actually were messing around with some polarized film and, and okay. testing out different ways uh, to have lenses that were a little bit more crisp and give you a clearer view out on the water. So we, we've segued into just, you know, creating sunglasses, whether or not you're sailing, surfing, fishing, or just enjoying a day at the beach. Um, our sunglasses are always designed. Uh, to make the waterman's journey out there a little bit easier and, and just provide them with a more crisp and optimal view of the outdoors. Plus they're reasonably priced, to be honest. I mean, I went to the website and looked them all up. I mean, average pair, Stevens, about a hundred bucks. Wow. Actually, yeah. they, they really start down uh, as low as $69 nice. and work their way up towards that area. So Steven, what sets you guys apart? I mean, from the 140 the 150 dollar pair there's so, one i got in my hand that's really freaking cool i'll have to show you guys but oh yeah yeah we'll be getting to that one that's that's our finale <laughs> yeah. there um no i think uh one of the most important things about our um our brand is the value proposition it brings right so first of all everything in our collection is polarized 
like Dylan has already said, it's made for life out on the water, for th seeing things better and so on. And the other brands that you mentioned, they're good quality brands. We're not gonna say they're not, but what you get for the money with Hobie blows away what you get for the money with the competition. And I would put our glasses right up against theirs, but at easily half the price. And nice. uh, we're very proud of that. And we get a lot of oohs and ahs on, uh, from anyone who tries our glasses on. Um, you know, we'll get into some of the fishermen that we're, we're um, doing collaborations with, but they put our glasses on. They're like, wow, wow. So um, I, I, I think, and I, and as you'll see, as we go through the collection, yeah. we're, offer, we're offering a body of stories in our collection that no other brand collectively is, is offering. So would you guys kind of consider a rebranding? Is this what you, you know, you said you guys have been out for quite a while. I, I'll be honest. I didn't know you guys had sunglasses. I mean, everybody knows the kayaks. Everybody, you yeah. know. It's, it's not so much a rebranding, but the Hobie brand in general has, has um, uh, gained a bigger focus or, okay. or put a bigger focus on the fishing market. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they have their Hobie kayaks, and, and so that's been a huge part of it. And, um, and, and so we, we together uh, with Hobie are, are doing the same. Um, we still have fantastic glasses out there for all those other activities that Dylan mentioned, whether it's being out surfing, lifeguarding, just on the beach and whatever. But we really are excited about the collection and the technologies that we've put together, particularly for fishermen. Yeah, um, I have a, I, you guys are gracious enough and we really, really appreciate you guys sending us some to try out and take a look at. And these are some amazing sunglasses, lightweight. I mean, that's, that's a big killer for me because I wear glasses all the day, all the time. Yeah. And that, you know, heavy sunglass, you know, weight of, I'm trying to think of a brand. I used to have a brand I wore all the time, but I think I lost a pair every time I got a pair. So I, I don't wear them anymore. And uh, I'm a prescription wearer now because I had to go to bifocals. Mm. So hit old. us up on that one towards the end. We have a solution for you there as well. Heck yeah. That, that was actually one of the questions I was going to ask. You know, I'm an older guy. Luckily, you know, I just turned 48 actually last month. And luckily, you know, my eyes knock on wood they're still holding up. Right. You know, so, but you know, I, 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 you know, my audience is an older audience and I get asked that question quite a bit. You know, I get asked the question of, do they, uh, do they do, uh, you know, whatever yep. sunglasses, you know, prescription or, you know, bifocals or that sort of thing. So, yeah. So, so, um, almost all of the glasses in our collection are RXable. Um, we nice. have a partner that we work with who can get you set up with, your RX done in, in, in Hobie polarized lenses. Um, and like I said, I can jump to it now. We can, we can a, talk, another, we can break down your glasses. We can talk yeah, about, another, we can, we can go dive into the glasses and, you know, like I said, I got a pair right here. I mean, we can, we can dive into those and you guys can each, if, how would you guys like to do this? You guys each got well, a couple pairs you want to talk about or. Yeah, yeah so I think I, what, I think oh, what ahead. I'll do, go ahead, Dylan. <clears throat> well, I was going to say, we, we could start with our lenses. You know, a big question okay. for fishermen is always just uh, what lenses are right for me? Um, you know, what depending on the type of fishing you're doing, what tint is best or most appropriate for which scenario out on the water? Um, and then we also, we get a lot of questions about glass lenses versus polycarbonate lenses versus nylon and, and what the key major differences are there. Mm. So, uh, you know, Steve will definitely be able to walk you through better than I could exactly uh, where those lenses uh, fall into place. Um, he, he is definitely a, a hardcore fisherman. He is out there. Um, and then that's why he's designing the product. for us. All right. Well, we'll break down the lenses and they'll break down the glasses. And then we'll uh, talk about the, the, uh, people that you are a part of that have helped, you know, helping you guys, uh, refine them, make them a lot better. And, you know, maybe had an impact in, uh, some of the designs that we all have right here. Yeah. So, uh, just starting off. Um, so I've done a lot of bass fishing over my life. I'm, I'm 51. I've been fishing since I was probably under 10. I still have my original Berkeley blazer that my uncle bought for me Ooh. with the orange strike sort of indicator tip at the end. And then my sons have used it. And it's kind of the spare one that I'll chuck out there if I'm not too worried about breaking a rod at this point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we all have that one. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, so I've done a lot of bass fishing, a lot of trout fishing. Um, in different parts of the world. Um, not as hardcore as maybe Dylan let off, but uh, I, I've done my share of, of a lot of different types of fishing. 
and some saltwater fishing being here on Long Island. Um, but focusing on bass fishing, uh, we have three lenses that we typically recommend. And I'll preface this by saying, and we all know this, right? Whether it's your rod or your lure, or even a certain technique or the kind of reel, bait caster versus spinning reel. Mm -hmm. It's all about confidence, right? And we all could fish the same parts and have different techniques or do different things. And mm -hmm. you always fish better if you feel confident in your equipment. Oh yeah. So while these are recommendations we put out there, a fisherman might like one of the other lens tints that I'm gonna show you. And if that makes you feel like you're seeing things better and you're fishing better, God bless. That's what you should use <laughs> because it's all about feeling good about your equipment. But let me start off with our basic uh, 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 tint that I would say is perfect for any freshwater fishing, but especially bass fishing. I'm going to hold it up with this little sheet here. Oh, okay. This is our copper tint. Mm -hmm. So a copper tint, um, because it's because it's a brownish, amberish color, a copper tint is a contrast enhancing tint. And that helps see certain colors pop a little bit more than others. So it helps you when you're doing any sort of sight fishing, which we all do uh, when you're bass fishing in yeah. many occasions. You know, you're looking for that that branch that's a little bit of a different color. The bass have a little bit of a different color. So you want certain things to pop more than they naturally would. So a copper lens is a great lens for that. It's also really good. It kind of actually brightens things up. It's a little strange. I always tell people it, it kind of brightens everything up, which is counterintuitive to what you think a uh, a lens would do but it makes it's also very soothing at the same time and you just see everything better I, I love copper lenses i've always been a copper lens guy even sometimes out in salt water which is typically not always what people use out there but yeah. i just i just like the feel of a copper lens um but it but they're also good because since it brightens things up a bit i can use it very early in the morning and very late into the evening when you okay. just want that polarization up until yeah. the last second but I have another solution for that as well that I'll get to in a sec. Um, my personal favorite, as much as I said I like copper, my favorite is copper with a green mirror. Yeah. Um, I like it, to be totally honest, largely for the aesthetic part of it. The, <laughs> the, the uh, performance of the lens is very similar to copper because it's a copper-based lens. But the green mirrors that we use here, they just pop. They're just beautiful mirrors, as oh, yeah. are all of our mirrors, but I just love that green color. And when you're out there on the stream or out in a, out in a boat and uh, and you have those on, they just look great. Um, but otherwise, the, 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 the performance and the properties of them are very similar. Now, what we have that's particularly good for low light is our Sightmaster lens. So you'll see... That this has, um, I'm in oh, love. I, I see hands up over there. <laughs> this has a goldish mirror, and then the back from the inside looking out, it's a yellowish tint. Oh, wow. Lightmaster is a fantastic lens for early in the morning, late at night. It's also known to be really good for like flats fishing down in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Um, I did get to go bone fishing, but I didn't have a, 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 a sight master back, back then, but I've heard they're fantastic for that. <clears throat> so that's a really good um, low light lens to catch that early and later part of the day. In the middle of the day, especially if it's sunny, probably wouldn't wear it. I'd say go with the copper or the green yeah. mirror. But um, but those are the three tints that I'd recommend okay. for for bass fishing. You have the copper and the copper with the green mirror, and that's that could be a personal preference at that point. But I'd always say make sure you have yourself a sight master as well. Um, because that'll be the one that gives you the edge early on and, and late on. Later so in the many companies. Being a, being a bass angler myself, you know, I mean, a hardcore bass angler. I'm like you, you know. I've been fishing since I've been bass fishing since I was. I don't know. I don't know. I literally have a picture of me on the water w with my uh, grandparents when I was uh, three weeks old. So. <laughs> So now I don't mind, mind you, I wasn't fishing, but, <laughs> but, uh, you know, so many people miss that, that ultra low light. I fish a lot of like really, really clear water, but you know, in, in the fish in clear water, they will very much naturally, uh, you know, match the bottom a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And so I'll, you know, I've used a couple of other brands before and, and that I'm excited about that. I can't wait. I'm, I'm going to, I can't wait to try that because that is huge for me. I sight fish a lot and, and sight fish 
because of the the ultra clear water i sight fish a lot in situations where you're not normally sight fishing because you know we can we can have water as clear as 30 feet where i live so yeah well, you know it's, we're uh, both clear water because i i'm I'm, yeah. on, I'm on smith Mountain lake so and that's to, real clear yeah, yeah to have that ultra low light bravo guys i give that two thumbs up right away <laughs> nice nice so we look forward to hearing your experience with it i can't wait to try that i'm I, I, that's i'm a big fan all right i'm sorry to interrupt i just wanted no, to know no problem at all how happy that makes me how happy that makes me so the other two types of lenses we have for fishing um that i didn't mention so far which again if if you're into these colors and they make you feel like they're doing what they need to do and you're going to fish better by all means please pick them up one is our basic gray lens okay there's not too much to say about that one a gray mm -hmm. lens is what's called a, a, a natural tint it'll basically darken all this uh the waves of the light spectrum sort of evenly so it's not really contrast enhancing enhancing but that's the nature of a gray lens that's not you know ours versus another competitor's yeah. quality a gray lens just kind of darkens everything a little bit um the reason i like the copper is because of the contrast and it actually feels like it's brightening things but in a good way so that's why i like the copper yeah. and then we also have our our gray with um a gray with a cobalt mirror lens mm -hmm. and again mm -hmm. that's got also that that pop factor um, beautiful lens when you wear, you know, beautiful mirror when you're wearing it. All of the mirrors will also cut a little bit of that extra, just a little bit of extra light. And because this comes up a lot, I already mentioned that all of our all of our lenses are 100% um, polarized. They also all protect against UVA, B, and C rays. Ooh. Sometimes people get that confused, or sometimes people ask because they think, oh, maybe it doesn't. By law, all glasses do have to, all sunglasses do have to protect against UVA. B and C rays because you'd actually be damaging your eye if they yeah. didn't because your, yeah. your iris is opening up and you'd literally be letting more rays in, wow. more of those harmful rays. But polarization isn't on everything. It's not legally required. But for, for the watermen and especially the fishermen, absolute must. That's awesome. So those are the different lens tints. I don't know if you guys have any questions on that before we jump to styles. No, we can jump. You, go ahead. Yeah, you well, you've nailed the the colors that I that I like. You know, the copper, uh, the cobalt blue. That's uh generally I use that type of lens when I when we get to June, when I'm out uh fishing ledges and that sort of stuff. When you know, when seeing into the water becomes less important and more, you know, just graying out all the light that's going right. on when you're out there so excellent so let's walk you through some of our styles and our stories like i said this collection is full of technology stories the lenses are one part of it and sorry one last thing i left off all of our lenses have hydro and ole oleophobic coatings on both sides of the lenses not all companies do that and especially if you're out on the water, especially if you're on salt water where you get that salt spray, mm -hmm. it just makes it so easy to just clean clean the lens right off. Oh. Um, we include a microfiber cloth for cleaning your lenses with all of our products so you're not scratching them up and they'll last much longer. Um, but going to our frame story, so we've all dropped a couple of frames into the water at some point. Mm -hmm. I have at least two sets of frames at the bottle, bottom of Candlewood Lake and at least one set of frames at the bottom of uh, Indian Lake up in the Adirondack. I just lose them. I don't even know how in the world they disappear. I mean, well, I mean I'm talking doing... about those cases where they disappear into the water. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're you're doing way better than me if that's all you've lost in the lake. Let me tell you, because <laughs> my 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 frames generally don't last, but about. I give them a year to a year and six months before I forget them on the hat, or I'm leaning over the boat to get a fish, and bloop, there they go. Yeah, that's that's usually how it happens. If uh, <laughs> you haven't lost a pair of glasses on the water, then you haven't spent enough time. Oh yeah, yeah. But it usually means because you were fighting a fish and reaching down to pick yeah. up a big one and just yeah, yeah. Know. Or I'm so, stupid and I just literally forget them on my hat and I go. <laughs> so so this first one I'm going to show is just for you. So we have a, a floating collection. Nice. Um, we have nice. several styles um, that that make up this collection, and this was one of our new styles right here. This is bluefin. Okay. And I think this will be the perfect glass for you. It's a double XL sized glass, super comfortable, great coverage on the sides here, yep. um, rubber on the nose pads and the temple tips. 
So it gives you that grip. So when it's on your hat, first of all, you get better grip from it. It's not coming off. Yeah. But then um, it's very comfortable to wear. But if you drop it, it's just going to be sitting there floating in the water. Just reach down after you bring your fish in, of course. Yeah. yeah. But then you just reach in and get your glass right afterwards and wipe it down with the microfiber cloth and you're good to go again. That's yeah. awesome. A well, lot that's of people. Bluefin. We're really excited. This literally just launched. A lot of people don't realize how important those wraparounds are when you're sight fishing and those bigger, uh, you know, temples, sides yeah, the or sides. temples are, yeah, to, yes. to keep that light and to keep that glare out of those out of those sunglasses. It, it means yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. When you're on the water all day long, that coverage is key. Yep. yep. So another cousin to that style, a little bit smaller, a little bit my size, uh, kind of large, medium large. This <laughs> is Mojo. This one, again, it's floating glass super comfortable all day long type of glass that one's been a, a success in our collection for a couple of years now this next one i'm going to show you it's a little bit more for off the water more lifestyle mm -hmm. oriented yep. but you'll see a little later why i chose to bring this one out and show it to you guys but a lot this has also done really well for us even if you're just boating and sometimes you just don't want that wrap on especially yeah. if you're not yep. fishing and it's kind of hot out it's nicer to have the glass a little bit more off your face. During the summer, um, that's the exact style that I like to wear. June, ledge fishing, like I said, you know, it's yep. just, yeah, I look so a this, lot cooler. And it's hard to make me look cool, but. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is our coastal style. Yeah. So, um, and, and this one also floats. So moving along, we then have an interchange collection. Mm -hmm. This is Hobie Huntington. Mm. And this style here has a little lever on the back and it just pops out just like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is really, uh, the fiance was looking at these. She's like, dude, did you, do you know these things pop out? I'm like, that no way. Cool. Oh, so, so you're looking at a different one right now. I'm looking at a different one, but it, isn't, yeah. isn't one that you have with you, I don't think. But it's like, whatever style this was, this one pops out as well. So I was like, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> and I was like, this, this is like, this is like Christmas here, man. It's like, you so know, like, one... can you actually get like the different lenses? You just interchange yes. whatever you want. Yep. So all these little lens blanks that I've been showing that you guys, is cool. these are all Huntington lenses that I've been showing you. And then what happens is it comes in this hard case here and this little removable insert can hold up to three other, two other pairs of lenses, plus hmm. the pair you have in the glass. And then the beauty is if you don't want to carry the whole case around, you just want to throw this in your tackle box. Just fold it like that and just tuck it in awesome. your tackle box. And so that's what I do. I do it actually with a different style that I'll show you. Actually, I, I might as well show you now since we're on the topic of interchange. But um, yeah, I like to have then, I always have my sea green with me, my green sea green mirror and my sight master. And then sometimes I will have the regular copper. But our other interchange story, and this is one that's uh, for Brian might be particularly helpful is as you guys can tell, I'm an optical wearer. I'm yes. wearing our Hobie Lennox frames right here. We have three styles in this collection. And the beauty of it, it's got magnetic clip-on. Oh, that's bad. That is oh. awesome, dude. You know, <laughs> you know the thing about clip-ons, it's like, you know, the thing about clip-ons, you, you can get the cheap things at clip-on or crap like that. You yeah. Know, like $30. Yeah. No, but that, you, those but right you there, can't you can't even, even tell. tell. I mean, that's... Turn man, slightly to the side awesome, a little man. bit. I just want to see just... Look at that, dude. That's awesome. No, so so it's funny because you went right where I was going to go next. Clip-ons have a uh, have a negative connotation because yes. they're usually mm -hmm. aftermarket. They're not usually even made by the same brand who who made the glasses, and they look dorky. Let's be honest. But <laughs> but these clip-ons are, are, are made per <laughs> style. So as you can see, they, they don't overlap. They're not like that's nice. They're not bowed out from the frame. Honestly, I could have hung out with you guys all day and been wearing these fishing and it wouldn't have been until the end of the day until I popped them off that you would have said, oh, what just happened there? Yeah, I, I had someone I had someone do that at an event because I was switching. I was switching them and someone was like, what, what did you just do there? Because I saw yeah. you just go like this and go like this. I yeah, can't wait to show on. my editor. He's going to wig out when he sees this. <laughs> so this so. is our duo, duo collection, we call it. And it's it's simple. It's just got magnets up in the corners here okay. magnets down here and just a little hook for a little extra stability across the mm. bridge there okay but you see how how easily there's not there's no trick you don't have to practice this yeah. it's 
<laughs> we, we all know how magnets work, so no, that's... no magic, no magic to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so sometimes I'll wear Huntington because I don't really need my glasses so much for distance. But then the problem mm -hmm. is if I'm tying a fly or a lure, I kind of wish I, I I had prescription on. Um, but then a lot of times I'll wear these. So are all the lenses available? The colors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have all those five wow. lenses that I showed you before are all available in 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 this style Lennox. I can't wait. Me and my buddy's going fishing tomorrow. I can't wait to call him after we get off here and be like, dude, wait till I tell you this. That is cool because, you know, like you said, a lot of them, you know, have a little thing where they clip over your nose and they clip yeah. down here. Then they irritate your nose. On or the top big of that. giant yeah. ones that just cover everything. Or the, Yeah, like he said, that's, the big giant ones. So that's why I've not looked forward to getting old whatsoever. I'll just be yeah, and, and, <laughs> and these are the glasses I wear all day long in front of the computer and in the office. When I get in the car, I have these just sitting there. And then in my tackle box, I have one of those cases with all my different lens choices. So, uh, you know, you're 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 covered for everything: indoors, outdoors, light light fishing, dark fishing. You know, yeah. later in the day fishing, low light. Yep. So and that's um, and that's the beauty of the interchangeable lenses. When you're out there on the water and the clouds come in or the lighting conditions change, all you got to do is put a different pair of lenses in, and you don't have to buy two pairs of sunglasses. You could buy one pair, and you you mentioned already, you know, friendly price points. Now you're just buying yeah. an extra set of lenses. You don't have to buy that second pair. So uh, great all around glass for, for every scenario and situation you're going to face up there. Yeah, Dylan, that's, that's what I was going to say. Cause it is so annoying. I kayak fish and he fishes out of a boat, but it's so annoying when you're out there and you know, let's say you, you started fishing, you just put your sunglasses on for the day and then the clouds roll in and you're like, I don't have my glasses with me. They're in the truck <laughs> or they're in and the you car. Know, and you know that's that's you know even going back to you know you know I'm I, like I said I just hit 48 you know I'm I'm getting older my I'm starting to notice my arms are having to get longer you know to read things and uh, you know that that's something that really is a downer because I'm big on the the colors and the types of sunglasses that I wear the you know uh, at certain times of the year and even certain times of the day and uh, man you guys. Listen, I'm just excited. <laughs> yeah, it, nice. I'm hey, trying to. That's me suppressing my excitement right there. I'm just telling you. And, and we're only halfway through, right? Now. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. literally, I'm. You know, but for wait, Brian's sake, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, because it's like, gosh, this is so annoying. Then you gotta. Then like he does. Then that's what ends up happening. If I do have my glasses with me, guys, you take the sunglasses and put them on top of your head. You throw mm -hmm. your glasses back on. And then it all just goes like this. Yep. And, you end and up then they're sitting the in then the they're sitting in a lake somewhere. Yep. Yep. All right. So I guess I guess the next style to walk you guys through is El Matador. Brian, I believe you have those there as well. Yeah. I've got Gosh. a bunch of different pairs here. So as you can see, these have a, re a self retracting, uh, like a self deploying and retracting side shield. So to your point earlier about the coverage, these are really great glasses for that. They give you that coverage all day long. These come in our, yep. in all of the lens choices that I've shown you so far. And this is the El Matador style, hugely popular with the fishing community. Yep, that's them right there. What I like about those in the lens too, uh, something that I, I tell people all the time, I actually use ski goggles with, you know, the kind of the high vis in them with mm -hmm. that same style lens, something like that you could, you know, get away from a ski goggle on a clear day or during the winter time because you've got the wind. It's going to block out a little bit of that wind too. Yeah. Still use those sunglasses. That yeah. You, you can see here, it even has the shield even extends over along the top yeah. edge because you still sometimes can get a little light leakage this way. This thing's yeah. got you fully covered. Yeah. And the cool thing I like about this is that hinge. Yeah. It's kind of neat the way like the logo slides along the, the temple, oh, that is it? cool yeah i didn't even see that yeah so that's really freaking cool the, the i mean a lot of glasses that do have that on there you worry about breaking that yep 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 so all right so this ahead. next style we're really excited about we just launched this style and early indicators of sales online and elsewhere uh with our retailers has been great take almost all the stories i showed you so far combine them together and then add one additional feature and that's monarch mm. so monarch the beauty of monarch and you'll find out why i showed you that lifestyle glass before is 
it's the all conditions glass. Yeah. First of all, as you can see, it also has shields protecting you from above and on the sides. Mm -hmm. It's got our, in this case, our sea green lens, but it also comes with some of our other top fishing lenses. It has a removable retainer, which just pops right off. That's neat. I like that. And the beauty is these side shields. You know, you were you were saying before what the part that pops off, that's the side shields. Mm -hmm. These side shields can come right off. So mm. we kind of joke around. We call this sport mode. Yeah. So you've got this, you've got the the uh, shields on there, you've got the retainer on there. And by the way, guys, this glass floats. Nice. So it does everything. It floats. You have the retainer for just, you know, if you want to take the glasses off briefly. Right but don't want to have to put them down. You got the side shields, but then you can go from sport mode to like lifestyle or leisure mode. These come off. Heck yeah. That comes off. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Retainers come off, the, the retainer pops off. And now you have a lifestyle floating sunglass for when you're not fishing or That's just hanging out sweet. or just out on the boat and want like a more casual look. So this guys, style is called Monarch. You guys thought of everything. It just got man. out there like about a month ago, a month or two ago. And um, it's 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 been doing everything we could have hoped it could do in early sales. That's I'd my say. favorite, by the way. Those yeah, are my I have favorite. to say, yeah, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a great style because it takes El Matador, which we nicknamed the ultimate fishing sunglasses when we mm -hmm. first came out with them. And it takes Coastal, which is our best performing lifestyle floating glass. And it basically just, just makes it the same sunglass in one. So you have two different looks for one price. You guys have, uh, you guys have done a great job, man. I'm impressed. Yeah. I mean, you guys have thought of everything to be honest. Yeah. And, and then a and couple of extras. Back, and circling back to that price point discussion, everything we've shown you here starts at $89. Gosh. So put that up against the competition. And again, quality glasses and, and they're good brands and all that. Well, why are you paying? You can have two glasses or a glass oh, yeah. and spare lenses or these frames with these clip ons yeah. or half the price of what. You, and listen, in fishing, you always need spares, right? You're always losing lures. Mm -hmm. You're always, you know, things break and, you know, you always need that a couple extra rods and this and that. Yep. At this price point, you should always have one in your tackle box, one in your truck, one, you know, in your backpack. If you if you take a pack with you when you go fishing, you know, there's no reason not to have extra glasses. And if you have the interchange, you can do it that way. But if you mm -hmm. like a style like um, like like Monarch, you can get it done up in, in different lens choices. How much are now, the clip-ons, by the way? Ahead, sorry. No, you get yeah. how much were the clip-ons, the, uh, you know, the magnetic... So, so for the optical frame, which actually it comes with blue blocking uh, lenses in it. So okay. for someone who actually doesn't even need a prescription, but says, hey, in front of the computer, I would like to have some blue blocking lenses. Mm -hmm. By default, we put those in there. No one else will mm -hmm. do that. They'll just put what they call demo lenses, just plastic, no power lenses in there. Oh, wow. Just, just to have in the frame. Mm -hmm. And then when you go get your prescription put in, then they'll swap those out and so on. But um, in, in this case, we put the demo lenses in there because maybe someone just wants some nice computer glasses, but they wear contacts or don't need any right. prescription at all. So it, you can buy uh, on our website, you can buy these frames and the clip of your choice for 120 bucks. Wow. That ain't bad. Which for an awesome. optical frame, you'll never, you'll never yeah. find that kind of price mm -hmm. with, with a polarized clip on. And <clears> these are, these are some clip ons you'll find out there. Um, they are usually a cheaper, what's called a triacetate lens. This is a, a quality premium polycarbonate lens in these, wow. uh, in these, in these clip-ons. So my question was, and I don't know how you would explain this because I'm not a engineer when it comes to sunglasses, <laughs> but talk to us about the durability of the lens, you know, scratch resistant, you know, anything you can tell us about that, because I know that's, that's another question that I get a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Um, Dylan had mentioned it earlier on. There's there's the the plastic types of lenses. Um, most of our lenses are polycarbonate, which is very uh, impact resistant and durable, mm -hmm. um, quality optics. And then glass lenses, um, they'll 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 be more expensive. Right. They're heavier. Um, they are scratch proof, 
but you drop them once on the pavement and they're gone. So there's yeah. kind of the mm -hmm. pros and cons of one, if you completely reverse it, are the pros and cons of the other one. Gotcha. So one's heavier, one's lighter, one's more expensive, one's less expensive, one's scratch proof, one's scratch resistant. But um, yeah, I mean, I, like I said earlier on, we have pro fishermen who put our, our lenses on and they're just like, wow, like what more do I need? And we're gonna get into one fisherman in particular who's, who's really been loving our lenses. Awesome. Um, and in terms of durability, um, first of all, we have, and I know I keep saying we have the best, but this is another case where I will clearly say we have the best, the best warranty out there uh, of, any, of any eyewear. We have a lifetime warranty. Oh, it's wow. on defects, of course. Obviously, if you run it over with yeah. your car, or we have a few funny uh, pictures. But jig comes dog back, dog and <laughs> yeah. So, but we, but anything, anything that even even sniffs of um, a defect or anything like that, and they don't come up much. But anything like that, we replace your glasses. And by the way, if you ran over it with your truck, and if your dog ate it. While we don't replace your glasses for you, we'll offer you as a as a loyal customer 50% off of a new pair. Wow. So you're not gonna find that anywhere else. Heck no. That's awesome. Yeah, and that yeah. that is genuine. I can tell you that. Um yeah. I started with OBI where in the customer service department. So I heard all those funny stories Steve was talking about. Um, but yeah, it's just it's refreshing, especially in today's day and age when you have an issue with a product. Um, being able to uh, get in touch with a company and actually speak to a live person and have someone that understands what you're going through and be able to provide you a solution. So uh, we take a lot of pride in that as a brand for sure. All right, Steven, let's keep the ball rolling. All right. So Dylan, I'm going to segue back to you because I think you might want to talk a little bit about our latest collaboration. Yeah, absolutely. So Brian, what, uh, what kind of drew you into our booth at Bassmaster was, uh, was this guy right here. That's the Hank Cherry Champions Collection. Yes. <laughs> you can see, we get the nice little pedestal here. That was an Instagram story for the Basscast the other day because he saw me recording the, uh, I did a video and I recorded it. You know, you guys had it spinning in the booth and I was like, that will make a great TikTok video or Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, we, we had the privilege of being able to partner with, with Hank at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, he's obviously one of the top fishermen in the game. Oh, he's yes. a time Bassmaster Classic champion who's, you know, obviously been at the pinnacle of the sport for a while now. So being able to work with him has, has been an honor for us. You know, as, as you've seen, we, we believe heavily that our product is right up there with the other brands. And being able to work with a fisherman of his caliber helps us only prove that claim. So it's, it's been really exciting uh, for us to have the chance to work with him. So what we did was we actually collaborated on a collection and it's called the Hank Cherry Champions Collection. Okay. So what it is, is it's two of our existing styles right here. I got Mojo and then you saw Bluefin earlier. Mm -hmm. What we did is we took those styles and we added Hank's red coloration into it. So if you could see my screen. Oh yeah. Translucent fade, which yeah. is honestly one of the coolest colorways I've ever seen us do. <laughs> it is cool. Um, it, it looks cool on the on the computer screen. It looks even better in person. Um, we added his his logo in there, so okay. you see the HC Hank Cherry with the hook, um, and that's that's his champions collection right there. So all the glasses have that um, blue fin. It doesn't have the translucent fade, but since it has rubber built into the frame, we Ooh, have yeah. red rubber there. So uh, his two favorite styles, they both float. Uh, he loves that. And his two favorite lenses, which is the copper and sea green and the Sightmaster, which, you know, as Steve said, are, are right up there. His two favorite glasses as yep. well. So uh, we're really <laughs> excited about that. Uh, once again, at a very friendly price point, all of the glasses in the Champions Collection are $99.99. Um, we debuted them at the Classic and they'll be launching later this month. So uh, a, a really cool opportunity for our brand and, and we're excited to, uh, to move forward with it. And those Hank Jerry glasses come with this Hank Cherry case. Oh, cool. Unique just to this collection. And they come in a really nice Hank Cherry nice. box mm. with the Hank Cherry logo on it. That's awesome. That's really cool. So what's the future looking like, man? What's, you know, I know that's, that's like, I mean, these things are, if you guys have, I mean, for the guys seeing like us for the very first time, you guys nailed it i mean you really yeah. did i mean i've had a lot of like i said i've had a I, i'm i'm a loser of sunglasses but these right here 
will save me a lot of money. The only other thing I can do is lay them down somewhere, which I'm famous for that too. But and even but yeah, even, I mean, you guys, you guys have nailed it. Yeah, and even for our glasses that don't float, um, we offer a floating retainer with a nice foam uh, flotation thing on the back there, so it feels nice on the back of your neck. And if you do put your glasses up on your head and they just happen to fall in the water, those will float too if you use that retainer. Awesome job, guys. I'm impressed. I mean, you know, I don't even know what to say. I'm just impressed. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. And, and Brian, you were kind of saying, what, what does the future look like? I can tell you right now, we are right in the in the midst of our two, 2023 development. Ooh. And all we're trying to figure Ooh. out is what's the next best product that we can be showing guys like you next year at this time. So nice. we're, we're always trying to level up um, <laughs> or expand on those things that did well. You know, when we first did floating a couple of years back, we're like, is it gimmicky? Is it is it is it something that that people are going to gravitate towards? You know, sometimes you don't know. Some ideas seem like the greatest idea, but it just doesn't catch. No pun intended. Yes. In this case, we caught a big one, and uh, and and the floating has been fantastic. And then the side mm -hmm. shields are now floating with side shields and a retainer and the customization uh, ability. It's just you know we we get excited about the stories. That's and that's we're looking for new stories and we're looking to expand on on the ones that are proven for us so far. All right. So you guys said a little, just a second ago that they're not available yet. They're available really soon. You know, it's your at Hobie eyewear on their, you guys website. Yep. Um, retailers, man, where can we go? Where will we be able to go to, you know, I'll be honest. You guys know yourselves, men. We are touchy. We are feely. Not a lot of men order off websites. I know some do, some don't, but you know, Usually we'll get a pair first. We'll pick it up at a local retailer. We'll fall in love with it. That's just a man thing. It's my thing, to be honest. <laughs> and then after that, you know, I order 12 more pair. So, I mean, because we have fallen in love with it. We have touched it. We have felt it. Now, women, they'll go off QVC and order in a freaking heartbeat. <laughs> and they'll return that thing tomorrow. I mean, you should look upstairs. But, I mean, <laughs> so where, you, where can you go feel it and touch it and try them yeah. on? Absolutely. So we're in a wide variety of dealers all across the country, whether that's tackle shops, surf shops, um, anything in between. Um, we have a dealer locator tool on our website that okay. you can utilize. So just type in your zip code. It'll show you who's around us. Um, but like I said, we're also very friendly. You know, um, if you're trying to get in touch with our warranty department, we're going to get back to you right away. We have a live chat feature on our site. So if you have that's any cool. questions just about like what glasses are best for you, uh, a member of our team will is more than happy to engage with you. So if that question is, hey, where are the, where are the glasses closest to me? They'll be able to answer that question right then and there for you. Um, we also offer free returns on our site. So a big okay. thing, especially with purchasing glasses online, uh, you can never really gauge the fit. And that's the biggest mm -hmm. thing about sunglasses is how well they fit your face, how they look on you. So with, with free returns, if you get a pair, you're unhappy with it. You just send it back within 30 days and we're giving you a full refund or allowing you to exchange for a pair that's going to fit you better. So it takes a little bit of the pressure off of, of really trying to have to nail that pair on the first shot when you're shopping. Yeah. Online. That's pretty awesome. I know the uh, future of glasses has gotten crazy. I mean, you know, you used to have to go into your optical place, try a pair on, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, the new thing is now, you can almost hold your phone to your face. Yep. And you're trying on glasses. You never thought you'd be able to try on. Absolutely. But, and it's, it's crazy how, you know, how it's gotten these days, but that's awesome. At least, like I said, you know, if you guys aren't there yet, you know, the, the return policy is pretty awesome. So, and like I said, you know, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's places of that nature. So uh, yeah, so um, we're we're in major retailers. Um, we're we're about to launch in Tackle Warehouse and Tackle Direct, ooh, and nice. we have our own website, which we of course would, would yes. promote first and foremost, HobieEyewear.com. Uh, the eyewear being because we're not just sunglasses, as as you've seen, we have yeah. optical glasses, and we also have regular optical collection. They don't they don't have clip-ons or anything like that, but they're really beautiful styles. They have the nice Hobie logo on the side, and just kind of feel like at one with the brand so really yeah. nice styles so i did spend a little while the other night 
after I received these, we went online and we just started looking through the website as well. And I was blown away. I mean, you know, like, like I said, I, I'll be honest straight up. I knew nothing about Hobie eyewear. Um, but man, when I went through the website, I was like, dude, there's some good looking glasses on here just, you know, to wear nine to five at work and look cool. Yeah. Like, like we yeah. said, we, we got a pair for everyone. Um, you know, if you, if you love the water and you love the outdoors, uh, we have a solution for everyone. Like I said earlier, if it's fishing, if it's sailing, if it's surfing, if it's just going to the beach, um, there isn't a sunglass in our collection that isn't for someone, you know, there's a sunglass for everyone. All right, Dylan, Steven, man, we really appreciate you guys coming on BassCast Radio and giving us a look at Hobie Eyewear. You know, something that we've never, you guys are our first. I'll be honest, we've had a lot of different topics, you know, including the anglers on. And uh, this is really cool to see what Hobie has to offer. And guys, these glasses are sick, man. I mean, they're, I mean, I want a pair, another pair, because I want the pair he's got on, because <laughs> yeah. that would like save me some time and headache. And I have OCD, so between the two, I mean, it would help cure a lot of problems. So, <laughs> what we got to wrap up with? I don't know if you haven't if you haven't tried on a pair yet. Um, now is the time. Like Steve said, anytime we go to an event or we hand these off to anglers, they're always wowed, and then they're double wowed once they realize the price point in comparison to the other brands out there. So yeah. um, definitely head over to HobieEyewear.com. Um, like we said, there's a pair for everyone and just, and just check them out. Uh, also guys follow them on social media as well. Yep. Uh, so at Hobie Eyewear on Instagram, got a YouTube channel and Facebook as well. So that way, you know, you guys can follow and see who, you know, who they're going to sign next. And also guys, for all of my kayaking friends out there, we brought this up real quick. I mean, the Hobie Open Series is crushing it this year. I mean, I, I got some friends who are fishing it. They're right here in Central Virginia. And they're having to sit on phones and be within seconds of signing up. So you guys, make sure you be a part of the Hobie Kayak Series as well. Absolutely. And, uh, brother, guys, we appreciate you guys coming on. And I uh, appreciate you talking to us and uh, talking to us about these awesome sunglasses. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you having yeah. us. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Thanks for being on. All right, guys, man, what an awesome show that was. Like I said, we always like having unique topics on Bass Cash Radio. And uh, it was co really cool to meet them. Uh, hopefully, you guys all saw my Instagram story that I uploaded the other day, which was that rotating set of glasses on, letting you guys know that we were going to have Dylan and uh, Steven on Bass Cash Radio tonight and uh i don't know man i mean you know me and geek were talking about it. i mean they covered about every day i thing that you they did of. i mean it's it like, impressive and you know even you know the the pair that i had here is this the pair no that's not the pair there's a pair i have right here that the pair that slide in and slide out the little slide sheet the side yep. shields i mean you guys boom watch that they slide in on it's, <clears throat> or it's one pair. I don't think this is it. This it's another pair, but there's so yeah. much to these daggone things that they went in and they thought about. And you know, so you got your you got your rag, you got the sunglasses, and then if you look right there, like he said, there's the lenses. Yeah. <clears throat> All in this. Zip it tightly up. Attach it to your fanny pack like 1990. And there you go. It's for really belt impressive. clip or whatever. I mean, you know. It's and awesome. especially for the price point. I mean, yes. where are you going to find that at? That's over the top. So we are really appreciate them. Oh, there you go. Really appreciate them coming on and talking with us and uh, introducing us to Hobie Eyewear. And uh, guys, I'm going to let you guys know now. We're going to have an affiliate link up on the website, a link where you guys can go and check out their glasses. And uh, I'll be straight up and honest with you guys. I am anything you guys buy. We get a little bit of it and it goes to help take care of the basscast.com. Mm -hmm. And whether that's, you know, storage, internet, writers, gas, which went up again, 
you name it, it helps us. So if you're a fan of Hobie Wire Eyewear and you like the sunglasses, thank you for supporting the Bass Cast Stockholm. Yes. Period. So that's it, man. Um, a busy May. Pay attention to the basscast.com. Make sure you are paying attention to our schedule. And uh, we don't have any events besides our CAG series in May. And we got Hill City Bassmasters in May. But the basscast.com, as Danielle calls it, glitter boats. We'll be back June the 18th on Smith Mountain Lake. So, and uh, like I said, check out Bass Geek's latest video. What is it again? Okay. Top five baits for May. There it is. Top five baits for May. And make sure you hit the subscribe and the follow. Is it the follow button and the bell? Subscribe bell. Subscribe and the bell. That's the biggest. Yeah. That's the biggest ones. Have a great night, everyone. Be safe while you're out there on the water. It's kind of supposed to be a wash out here in Central Virginia. Around here it is. But uh, happy Mother's Day, everyone, by the way. That, oh, is, yeah. that is Sunday. So happy Mother's Day to everyone. And uh, I know I'll be spending a lot of time with mine. So thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys w- listening as well as watching. This is one you want to watch. Have a great night, everybody.